Welcome to Cape Chronicle, I'm Alex Gasser. Parks Division Manager Cade Horrell joins us in the studio to talk about the efforts to keep Cape clean. Cade, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about this program. Well, we have coming up on April 20th, we'll have our uh, Friends of the Park Day and Great Cape Cleanup. It's the 39th annual uh, event, uh, and it's, it's a day that we invite uh, volunteer groups, uh, families, uh, anybody in the community that wants to come out and just help keep the community nice and clean and pretty. Um, you know, we'll plant a lot of flowers, uh, clean up flower beds, pick up trash, we'll have some minor uh, painting projects, things to that effect. But it's a day that we really just want to encourage people to uh, get out and help beautify the community. Oh, so, awesome. Is yeah. that all of the parks in the city of Cape, or is it a focus on... We we actually, with the 26 parks we have in Cape, we will have people in a lot of those different ones. Uh, not every single one, obviously, but uh, depending on how many volunteers we get to come out. Um, the more, the merrier, and if the more people we get, we can kind of split them up in, in different areas. So Kappa Hall Park is where we kind of really focus a lot of effort, because uh, it is such a central point to the uh, community. Um, of course, having the pond and, and the, uh, the flower beds around the pond. There's a lot of work at, at Capall Park that uh, needs to be addressed, but uh, but we do work throughout the whole city uh, on that day. So awesome. Yeah. Um, so you said flower beds, and um, you guys are doing cleanup. So that I'm assuming that means litter cleanup. Absolutely, and... absolutely. There and you know limbs from that have been br broken and fallen down. We'll we'll do that if we have. Uh, pretty well just anything that that needs to be done in the parks uh, we volunteers will be there to, to help do we we have them do it so awesome yep. do folks need to bring their own tools or is that something that you guys supply or we provide most of the tools we encourage people to bring their own gloves uh, if they have a certain tool that they really dislike to use you know they're more than <laughs> welcome to bring it themselves but we'll have the uh, the, the trash grabbers and, and shovels and rakes and things of that to that extent so Gotcha. Are there anything that you guys are needing for that event, like um, recyclable trash bags or any? We'll have all like the that. trash okay. bags and stuff like that as well. So you know, if if you have people who want to bring more, we're always welcome to it because uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be filling, uh, getting a bunch of stuff picked up. But uh, they don't need to feel like bringing that necessarily now. Okay. So. so how does someone say they want to come? Do they just show up or is there a sign up? Or We, we do have a, uh, a sign up form. If there's a group that has a, a group of people that want to get together, we have a sign up form that we can send them. They'll fill it out. Uh, but they're also more than welcome to show up the day of. Uh, our uh, registration starts at 9 o'clock. Uh, we actually start at 8.30, but we'll kind of finish up about 9 o'clock that morning and then get people out to start cleaning up. So. Is there an end time or is it really just when people are like, okay, I'm, I'm exhausted at this point? We, we go through about <laughs> noon, but anybody, if they've done it for an hour and are tired and want to quit, they're more than welcome. <laughs> it's all volunteer help. So, but we usually go through about noon and then uh, we have a couple volunteers that come in that will uh, be grilling some hot dogs. So oh, that awesome. will, will feed the people some hot dogs. So. Oh, perfect. So you get chips. food that day for yeah. putting some time and effort Correct. into it as well. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so about how many volunteers did you have last year? Uh, you know, this is the first year I've actually done it. Oh, I'm okay. I'm new into the position. So, okay. But from, well, congratulations. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, from what I understand in the past, there's usually between three, about around 300 people, two to 300 people. Okay. Um, our goal is to maybe hit 400 if we can. Um, All right. So don't know if we'll get there, but... Uh, you know, even if they don't want to come out and, and volunteer with us, you know, we just encourage them at home. Get outside at home, clean up around your house, around your business, and, and just help keep the community pretty. So, Awesome. All right, so that's the challenge, 400 people. That's the challenge. We, we want to clean up the city of Cape and Absolutely. make it beautiful. Absolutely. Awesome. So what are some other things that your department does? Yeah, so our, you know, our department is, is very widespread in what we do. I'm on the parks side of it, and we also have the recreation side, which is a lot of our the youth leagues and special events and, and classes and things like that. Uh, on my side, the park side, uh, you know, we have the 26 parks that I'd mentioned earlier. And the uh, staff underneath me right now are, are busy working on several different projects. We actually just finished renovating Rainy Park, which is, is one of those parks that's probably not really well known in, in the community. Um, it's on the south side, kind of behind the Southern Convenience Store there, over close to the bridge. 
Uh, we just redid, uh, put a new bathroom there, um, put in a, uh, a new playground system, revamped the, uh, the shelter there, and, and we actually just opened it up this past uh, Friday. Oh, awesome. To the, to the public, so we're hoping people get out there and really enjoy it. Um, and then, you know, my staff are, are busy, hard working on actually installing a, a bathroom at Capitol Hall Park, which a lot of people may think, well, that doesn't sound too exciting, but <laughs> when you're used to having to use uh, porta potties, a permanent restroom is a nice thing to have. So yes. that's the big that's the big project right now. Our staff's working on is is putting in a new permanent restroom at Cap Hall Park, Cap Hall Field. Awesome, so, awesome. Yes. Well, and when you have to go, it's that's when it's, it's that much more important, right? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Awesome. Um, so um, I just had a question on the tip of my tongue, and it just went away. Um, so I also know April is. Um, Arbor Day, correct? correct? So do you guys have anything that you're doing for Arbor Day? We actually do. We have a, uh, a board, the tree, we call it, it's our tree board, Okay. Uh, the, the City Cape Tree Board, and we actually have uh, a couple trees that we're going to be planting that day uh, on Arbor Day, and we have a meeting right after, so it worked out perfect. Um, but we're going to plant a few trees over at Osage Park by the Osage Community Center. So Awesome. So I'm assuming that's part kind of of your division as well, of Correct. making sure that you guys are putting more things in and yes. cleaning up areas or yep. those we, types of things yeah, too. Yeah, our, our st um, I staff are very, very heavily involved with, you know, evaluating trees if we have some trees that are unsafe and need to be removed. Um, but then once, if we do do that, we're also always wanting to put some trees back. Um, you, you don't want to take down a bunch of trees and then not plant some back in return. So that's always what we're looking at. Okay, awesome. Um, so what is that day in the park, or Friends of the Park uh, event again? Yeah. Tell, remind me of the dates and the time and Absolutely. how folks can get involved. Absolutely, it's, uh, it'll be uh, Saturday, April 20th. Um, it'll be held at the uh, Kappa Hall Park. Um, and they are more than welcome to come the day of, or if they uh, have more interest and want to get sign up a group, they can uh, reach out to our office, 573-339-6729 uh, is my direct office line. They can call me and I can get them the information they need. So, Awesome. 